Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's the exciting new Drive Maximus Letter Perfect Game Show, Caesar's Challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, Ahmad Rashad. Yesterday we gave away a car, the day before that we gave away a car, today we're going to give away a car again too. This is Dan Doherty. How you doing, man? Hi, Mullen. Good, good. How are you? Hasn't it not been exciting this oh, week? Oh, it's been beautiful. All the cars? I took a car two days ago. No, no, you don't. You, you, what? Oh. <laughs> you did what? I forgot the camera's on. Anyways. Yes, you have a... Um... I got a typewriter. Yeah. Turn it on. This came out. Can With, you believe it? Without you even touching it? A couple buttons. <laughs> Let me guess. Let me give it. Hail to me, right? Let me finish that for you. Okay. Hail to me, Centurion. <laughs> hail to all the Dans. Hail to Caesar's Challenge. And hail to all our fans. Yeah. Hail President Bill Clinton. Hail First Lady Hillary. But mostly hail Ahmad Rashad, our very own Chuck Woolery. Chuck Woolery! Is that, a, is that a compliment? Absolutely. Oh, good. Then I accept it. <laughs> Steve, let's meet our challengers. Okay, Ahmad, today, three new contestants. First from Las Vegas, he enjoys golf and has a monthly bridge column called Dear Billy. This is Billy Miller. From Elmhurst, Illinois, a domestic engineer and a mother of one. This is Julie Grange. And from Monroe, Louisiana, he's a teacher and enjoys coaching. This is Donald Harris. To all of you and welcome and good luck. You're playing today for over $10,000 in prizes, including a collection of fantastic home electronics, elegant gold watches, a beautiful country style dining room, and today's top prize a romantic seven day vacation to the tropical island of Maui. And whoever wins the most dollars by the end of our game will have the chance to face Caesar's Challenge and the chance to drive home in this sporty Chevy Camaro. questions and unscrambling words, here's our first word. Now, whoever buzzes in first with the correct answer to a question in round one will earn $100. You'll choose one letter, we'll move it to its correct position, and then you'll have five seconds to guess the word or the name. If you are correct, the remaining letters will each pay off for it $100 for a maximum of $700. Now, if you find the letter that belongs in our lucky slot and then identify the word, our instant jackpot, which starts out each day at $500 will be added to your winnings. You got a new typewriter. Absolutely. You know what? That was one hail of a poem. <laughs> Thanks, Bones. <clears throat> okay, our contestants have the word. Now let's show the subject to our home viewers only. Sleeping Beauty, Swan Lake, or the Nutcracker. From which ballet do we get the Sugar Plum Fairy? Yes? Tom. Nutcracker. The Nutcracker, you're correct. Pick a letter. Uh, the R. The R? Five seconds. Reprise. Cinnamon, allspice, or ginger? Which spice comes from the bark of a tropical evergreen tree? Yes, Billy. Ginger. Ginger is wrong. It's either allspice or cinnamon. Yes, Donald? Cinnamon. Cinnamon is correct. Pick a letter. Maybe, um, B. E. You have five seconds. Recipe. Is it recipe? No, it isn't recipe. Miami, Dallas, or New Orleans. Where is the sugar bowl played? Billy. Miami. Miami is wrong. Donald. New Orleans. New Orleans. You better have yes. gotten that one right. All right, pick a letter. Uh, the P. The P. The C. 33, 133, or 533. About how many pounds of sugar does the average American consume each year? Yes, Billy. 133. 133 is correct. All Pick right. A Recipes. Oh, a letter. I. You can do whatever you like, one or the other. Recipes. Recipes. Right. See? See, 
You have to be letter perfect. That's what I said. Recipe. You said recipe. I'm from the South. <laughs> <laughs> the subject was sugar and spice. Here are the scores. Billy has 400. Donald has 300. All right. Here's our second word. The letters are still worth $100 each, and our lucky slot is now worth $1,000. Here's the subject for our home viewing audience. A battle axe, a lightning bolt, or a hammer. What did Zeus use as his chief weapon? Yes, Donald? Lightning bolt. A lightning bolt's correct. Pick a letter. <laughs> uh, give me the H. The H. Five seconds. Thunder. trying to guess and you were trying to guess low so if it was wrong we didn't really hear you exactly. no you were right see and the topic was mythology and uh, you now have the lead you have one thousand dollars steve please tell us about the home electronics and the luggage be glad to a great package panasonic's portable stereo radio cassette recorder with drawer style cd player and an integrated cordless phone answering system both furnished by panasonic and your hawaiian vacation starts when you pack the pl traveler Quality crafted expandable garment bag, exquisitely styled in soft, supple, durable leather, designed to be the perfect traveling companion, furnished by PL. All right, let us do the next round payoff at $200 each, and we'll be back to play more of Caesar's Challenge right after these messages. All right, Donald, you are from Monroe, Louisiana. Yes. See, I've been there before. Most people say Monroe, but it's yeah. Monroe. Sammy White. Sam yes. Yeah. Yes, that's right. And you were uh, on a cheerleading squad that once placed fourth? Fourth in the nation, yes. What, were you a cheerleader? I was a cheerleader at Louisiana Tech University. Really? Did you wear tape on your wrist? Uh, sometimes. I had strong wrists. I didn't have to worry about that. Really? You look big enough that nobody gave you any heat about being a cheerleader. Not at all. So we won't either. <laughs> now, at $200 a letter in round two, here's our next word. It is now an eight-letter word, and our lucky slot is worth $1,500. Here's the subject for all of you playing along at home. The Maltese Fal Falcon, African Queen, or Casablanca. For what movie did Humphrey Bogart receive his only Academy Award? Yes, Billy? Maltese Falcon? Maltese Falcon is wrong. It's either the African Queen or Casablanca. Casablanca. Casablanca is also wrong. It is the African Queen. Donald, thank yes. you. Pick a letter. <laughs> um, L. Five seconds. Rebel Without a Cause, East of Eden or Giant? In what film did James Dean go from a pauper to an oil tycoon? Yes, Donald. Rebel Without a Cause. Rebel Without a Cause is wrong. It's either East of Eden or Giant. Yes, Billy? East of Eden? East of Eden is also wrong. Oh. Julie, it oh. is Giant, right? <laughs> yes. Oh. There you go, Julie. Pick a letter. The V. The V. Five seconds. <clears throat> Cary Grant, Ronald Coleman, or Ronald Reagan? Which actor wore a skirt in the film, I Was a Male War Bride? <laughs> Cary Grant. Cary Grant is correct. Hey, all right. <laughs> Oh. The O. You get the lucky shot. If you guess the word now, you pick up an additional fifteen hundred dollars. Travolta. Is it Travolta? It is Travolta. All right. And the topic was actors. You now have thirty-nine hundred dollars, Donald. You are in first place. Billy has four hundred, and Julie has two hundred. Here's our next word. Our lucky slot is once again worth $500. And here's the subject for all of you playing along at home. Evening Shade, Wings or Home Improvement. Which sitcom is set on Nantucket Island? Yes, Julie? Wings. Wings is correct. Pick a letter. The M. The M. Five seconds. Basketball, baseball or football? Which Sports Hall of Fame is located in Springfield, Massachusetts? Yes, Billy. Baseball. 
Baseball is wrong. That's in uh, somewhere else. Yes, Basketball. Tom? Basketball is correct. Uh, give me the B. The B. Five seconds. Ethan Allen, Chester Arthur, or Benedict Arnold. During the Revolutionary War, who led Vermont's Green Mountain Boys? Yes, Donald. Ethan Allen. Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a guess, wasn't it? Yes. It's the right guess. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that. Um, the L. The L. Five seconds. Bruins, Celtics, or Patriots? What is the nickname of the New England's team in the NFL? Yes, Billy. Patriots. The Patriots, yes. Pick a letter. E. E. You are the lucky crowd. If you get the word, you pick up an additional $500. Clam bake. Is it clam bake? It is clam bake. And the subject was New England. And you now have $1,900, Billy. All right, Steve, let's hear about two more of the prizes included in today's $10,000 package. Jules Jurgensen Elegant Ladies Quartz Watch in a 14-karat yellow gold one-piece bracelet case with eight fiery diamonds and two-tone dial. Elegance in time furnished by Jules Jurgensen and the Jules Jurgensen 19th Century Edition Pocket Watch. This gentleman's pocket watch and chain has two quartz movements and displays both time and date furnished by Jules Jurgensen. So, Dan, did you know where the Baseball Hall of Fame was? Of course I did. Where is it? I feel like telling you. <laughs> I guess we'll figure out uh, where it is sometime. We know Canton is where the Football Hall of Fame is. But the baseball one? I know them both. What? Ah, Cooperstown, I knew that. Now in our next round, letters are worth $300 a piece, which means it's anybody's game right here at Caesars South in Las Vegas, Nevada. Chevy Camaro at stake. Here are the scores. Billy has $1,900, Julie has $400, and Donald has $4,300. Now, Julie, you're from Elmhurst, Illinois? Yes. You're a domestic engineer? Yes, I what stay at home. Oh, that's a homemaker. <laughs> right. Really? And you have, uh, you once taught grade school overseas, where? I taught in London. In London? In London. Did yeah. you enjoy that? I loved it. Better at home, though, now, huh? Yeah, I like staying at home with my son. All right, good luck to you today. And Billy, you are from Las Vegas. You're a bridge writer. I do. I write a bridge column. Oh, really? Called Dear Billy. Oh, that's really, that's interesting. I'm known as the Dear Abby of the bridge world. Really? That's right. Really? That's good. Do you bridge. play bridge? Well, I've, I've trumped a few in my time. All right. <laughs> this is our nine-letter round, and with each letter valued at $300, that's a maximum of $2,700 per word. Here's our next word. And our lucky slot is now worth $500. Here's the subject for you playing along at home. MRI, EKG, or EEG. Which of these is used to measure a person's heart rate? Yes, Billy? EKG. EKG is correct. Pick a letter. Let's try the M. The M. Five seconds. Polio, typhoid, or tetanus. Which one of these diseases causes lockjaw? Yes, Donald? Tetanus. Tetanus is correct. Pick that a letter. That wasn't a guess either. <laughs> <laughs> Pick a letter. Uh, R. The Crimean War, the Spanish-American War, or the Civil War? Florence Nightingale served as a nurse in what war? Yes, Billy. Civil War. The Civil War is wrong. It's either the Crimean War or the Spanish-American War. Yes, Donald. The Crimean War. Crimean, Crimean will accept that. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. The D. The D. Five seconds. $95,000, $170,000, or $225,000. According to the Los Angeles Public Library, what is the average annual salary of an American doctor? Yes, Billy? I'll try 225. 225 is wrong. Of course. 
<laughs> it's either 95,000 or 170,000. Yes, Julie. 95. 95 is also wrong. Right. Donald? Yes. I have the correct answer. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, pick a letter. Um, L. The L. Five seconds. Try. Four pounds, eight pounds, or 15 pounds. According to the World Book, about how much weight will the average person gain when he or she stops smoking? Yes, Billy? I'm gonna try 15 pounds. 15 pounds is incorrect. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but you bluffed good. I did. All right, eight pounds or four pounds, Julie? Eight. Eight pounds is also wrong. And I no. have the right answer. Yes, you do. Thank four you. pounds, Thank you. four pounds, Take a letter. L. The L. Five seconds. Art. Uh, Artdale. Uh. 44%, 17%, or the horn. The horn means our time is up. Here's how we play the rest of our game. You put your hands on your buzzers. We're going to start moving letters one at a time. The lucky slot is now out of play. The first person to buzz in and correctly identify the word will win the remaining dollars. But if you're wrong, you're out and we keep going. You understand? You ready? Here we go. Billy. Treadmill. Is it? Treadmill. It is treadmill. And the topic was health. You came on strong at the end, Billy, with $3,100, but not enough to overtake Donald, who is our new champion, with $5,500. Donald, you have won the gold watches, the home electronics, the dining room, and the stoneware. Those are all yours. And Billy and Julie, we have parting gifts and seasons pals who like you and a guest to enjoy dinner at the incredible Palatium and a headliner show right here in the Circus Maximus showroom. All right, thanks for being on. Now, in just a moment, Donald is going to have the chance to face Caesar's challenge, but first, Steve is going to tell him about two more of his prizes. Ashley's casual country-style Asheville dining collection, all wood construction designed in a classic two-tone finish to add charm to any decor furnished by Ashley. And Sakara's exciting, colorful stoneware in their metropolitan pattern. Durable, microwave, and dishwasher safe. Fashionable, contemporary styling designed to enhance any decor furnished by Sakura. And coming up next, Caesar's Challenge. It is now the moment we've been waiting for. Donald is now going to face Caesar's Challenge. At stake is this beautiful, sporty Chevy Camaro that Steve Day will tell us all about. The Chevy Camaro, a sequential port fuel-injected V6. Integrated rear spoiler, ABS, and a sensible price to make it one sports car you can easily own. Furnished by Chevrolet. All right, down behind these curtains are five scrambled words. Of course, you know we've given away two cars in the last two days, right? Yes. And we're planning on giving another one away here. That's correct. All right, we're going to start revealing the correct letter placement one at a time. As soon as you know a word, you'll shout it out, and we'll move on to the next one. You'll have 30 seconds to unscramble all five words. Are you ready? Yes. All right, Dan, please reveal the <coughs> tournament. All right, Donald, your 30 seconds begins right now. Mouth. Tooth. Uh, motto. Butter. Centron. Mm. Oh, you want to roll with the country? Country. Mm, cranberry. cranberry. That's all right. You have won over $5,000 in prizes. You will be back again tomorrow. If you win again tomorrow, we'll come back here and do this whole thing again. All right? Good. Thanks for being on. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. All right, we're going to be right back as we give our audience a chance to move some letters and win some dollars, so do not go away. The following. Tiger Electronics has suffered from their fabulous world of exciting and innovative toys and games featuring 2XL, the talking robot, furnished by Tiger Electronics. Elbows his and her watches with super accurate sports movement, classic design and ultra thin case and genuine leather straps. Timeless elegance furnished by Hellbros International. Logic's color reserve system, the professional solution for keeping hair color vibrant and healthy looking only in salons. And Qbell, now you can help prevent painful nighttime leg cramps with Qbell. Qbell helps stop leg cramps before they start. Qbell, used only as directed. 
We have a bucket full of Phil Rouse and Caesar's Palace Golden Covered Chocolate Medallions. We're going to put up some five-letter words on the slot machine. If you know the words, you get a fistful of coins. You are first. Reach. Is it reach? It is reach. You want to play? Come on, stand up. All right, see, now you look right up there, and you got five seconds. Oh, you got two seconds. Oh, it's young, young. Come out, come out, come out. Come on, you can play. Come over here. And you can't cheat. No, that's the wrong one. We're going to give you another one. No, go ahead. Is it vocal? It is vocal, yes. Come on. 